we can put in this part. I actually selected this book. Yeah. Yes, this is a James selection because this is fantasy and that's his special. So he. So dignified. Hi guys, I'm D, author of the Consumed by Heat series and one half of D and J. And I'm J, the other half of D and J. And this is D and J Bookshot. Welcome back to our channel. Now, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so that you can be notified when we post new videos. Today, we'll be discussing Shadow Spell Academy: The Culling Trials, Book One, by K. F. Bren and Shannon Meir. This book follows Wilde on a journey like no other. Her life changes when she receives a death sentence in the form of an in invitation that invites her younger brother to a prestigious secret magical academy hidden in the mundane world. Now, this place is so dangerous that you don't even guaranteed to make it out alive. It's the same place where her older brother had previously died and she wasn't about to lose another sibling to this invitation so she does the only same thing a sister would do chops off her hair and goes to take her brother's place discovering that magic and monsters are real and assassins are out for her family while getting all of this understanding of who she is gives wild an adventure she hadn't even known she was in for but she's willing to either beat the academy or die trying because you don't choose the academy the academy chooses you all right so that was shadow spell academy all right james let's get into what your thoughts were what did you think of shadow spell academy i think it's a good overall it's a good book it's where you know if if you're diving if you're a first time fantasy reader it's a good book for beginners it's very simple it's very straightforward. It doesn't have any form of complex towards it as most fantasy books would normally have. So with that being said, it's a it's an overall good book. I didn't have any qualms with it. It's on the short side for fantasies that I've actually listened to, which is what about I would, I don't like even know. Two hundred and something pages. Right, but the, how many words? Like this. Uh, but it's two hundred and so pages. right. Regardless of the fact, it is just a simple book. It's good. I I like it. All right. Well, for me, I agree with you. Actually, that's the thought that went through my my head when I was reading it. That it's a good beginner. So if you're new to fantasy, you've never if so if you're the type of person that you haven't really read any epics, you don't you haven't gone into the fantasy genre before, and you're trying to look a good beginner book. This book is for you. You. I do want to warn you though there is a cliffhanger so if you're not the type of person that likes cliffhangers you could go in with a grain of salt but this book that we're, we're, we're reading came out in January for the most part at least the first three I am I'm sure the first three has already been released so you have the cliffhanger isn't really that big of a deal considering that you have the first three this one is in kindle unlimited so if you have a kindle unlimited you can read it there we also listen to the audiobook off script so if you have a script account it's also there too so hey you can grab a bunch of them and read them back to back if needed i know that we have more to say but that one will require us going into the spoiler section so if you haven't yet read the book go ahead and grab the book from the link down below and come back afterwards if you have already read the book keep tuned because we're about to dive into some spoilers so this is your spoiler alert spoilers are ahead you've been warned if you haven't yet read the book go ahead and grab a copy give it a read give it a re listen it's a short book so you'll be back in no time then come back and join in the discussion all right now that persons that don't want to be spoiled has left let's dive deeper into our thoughts so james what did you think what did you really think of the culling trials book one i think it was good uh the positive is a good beginner it has the the structure for the power the magic seems okay i won't say that it's in depth there are a lot seeing the fact that this is the first book there isn't a lot of explanation of what's going on for example we don't know what happened to her mother if her mother is dead or not the the power hasn't fully been explained but probably in the later series that we'll you know figure out a little bit more about about the powers i do like the fact that you know she kind of she did it in a, it's a magic school she did it in some form of like houses or or categories 
or what your strengths are. So they, it would be the shade, which would be, you know, human with fast reflex strength and all those other things. Plus there's st- strategic, right? Um, we have, that's the only one that I, I know off the top of my head. And we have the, oh God, I don't remember. There was a school with the necromancers, but we. It's not called that. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but yes, you have another group with people who are good with necromancy and goblins. The goblins, vampires are in one house, and then you have sh- uh, sh- shape shifters in another house, in another not really house, but in a category. Then you have the typical magician with a wand. Oh my goodness! I just realized. So there is. I was wondering because there is a little review on top of the blurb that says this this book is harry potter meets hunger games and i was like i didn't get it i didn't get it because it wasn't probably because we haven't yet gotten into the school we're still in the culling trials this is like a trial to get into the school if you don't pass the trials you aren't even admitted into the school you're considered lesser and thrown out so um but i didn't get it until i was just listening to you talking i didn't get the connection but now i get it because you know harry potter had the houses right the slithering the basically that's what that's the aspect of harry potter that they were comparing it to i just get it the houses the different houses for the schools that's the harry potter part and then the whole trial aspect because they're going through there are people dying so it is sort of like the hunger games and that's that aspect you're fighting for your life and you're fighting for a place in this school right because the people that have been um brought up around magic already know the existence of the schools they look forward to the trials there's some people that even train for the for the culling trials so there they're, you have people that are excited and they go there wanting to win for a place in the school so they're not looked down upon so i guess in that sense it is like the hunger games i didn't get that before i was like hmm. I, I was wondering still i was hoping that maybe in the other the other four books i believe because they said it's five days of trials so i'm assuming that it's going to be split in five at least five right because i mean as i said these are really short reads i don't know if they were intended to be split that way or if it was like one story written and then they decided to cut it up into a series serial or a series it's 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 a pretty it's a pretty calm read i sort of like the fact that it didn't dive into the magic system right off the bat because so i it it took the approach where it's trying to introduce you to the character understand you know what's the struggle behind it what the importance of defeating the academy is because the academy as i said you don't choose this academy this academy chooses you and if you don't decide to go then they kill your entire family so it's not even no, a choice well her. we didn't know that at the time the letter just said um if you don't show up your family will die so while i was reading it i was under the, the impression that okay so there is a school her brother went to the school she turned up dead because of some freak accident based allegedly. on what they were told allegedly. right allegedly because the, 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 the story is still brand new so who right. knows how how the, the writers are going to basically make a twist because i'm not with the fantasy you never know if a person is dead until they're literally dead because yeah because you had the best friend too right the best friend um that she she assumed this is a small town book that's probably why you know i I give it yeah they're from texas so that's that's a that's a little nice little twist for all for all the for all you texan people out there please excuse the weird southern accent just now i don't know why but anytime you say the word texas you get this weird southern accent i know that probably sounds nothing like you guys please don't take offense sadly, we mean no harm right sadly enough i actually do enjoy the, the whole uh southern talk it, it, it's really funny it's it's really twang good. the, the twang <laughs> right right i really do like it so it's really good i like it in that variation so yeah and this is the only book that you're never going to remember these people's real names no i don't even i don't even remember if we were told her real name i just know her as wild her last name is Johnson, that's for sure. But I don't Well, know. I know the brother's name because so as I said, it's like a Mulan type of thing where she took her brother's place, right? She cut her hair, she's pretending to be a boy, she went off to the battle, quote unquote, in air quotes, she went off to the battle to defend her family. So in that sense, if you really think about it, 
it. It's like a loose Milan retelling, right? It's not marketed that way, but I can see it. I, I see it. So it's, she cut off her hair. She's now pretending to be her brother. She's pretending to be Billy, a boy. She is going into this battle, the culling trials, to defend her family, to fight for her family's honor. So in that sense, it's sort of like Milan. I didn't really know anything about Milan either, other than her name was Milan and she was going to defend her family's honor. So hey, in that sense, you're, you're quite on par because I, I know the brother's name. The brother is Billy because that's who she's pretending to be. Her mm. nickname is Wild. And her sister is Sam, short for Sam. I think it's what, Samantha or something like that? I don't know. I don't know but as I said, I don't think we got, I don't think we got enough time for the characters to be fully fleshed out for us to remember their names yet. But yeah, it's like... We, I don't think we've actually gotten a chance yet to fully understand. So I am excited to read on. And to be honest, we haven't really gone down deep into the into the story. We just basically gave a few what's happening. The others is really good for other for you guys to actually go ahead and continue listening to it. And we can have a discussion. You can comment down below and, and tell us what you think of the book as well. Yeah. All right. So that's basically our thoughts on it. Let's dive into our star ratings. All right, James, what are you rating The Culling Trials, book one? Book one. All right, so I'm going to go with 3.5. It's a strong 3.5, at least, for me. All right, so you're rating it a 3.5. I'm going to give it a 4 for beginning because I think the characters are set up well. It gives you something to look forward to. The magic system haven't been explored yet yeah. but they haven't gotten into the school yet this is still the trials so and you know what i'm sorry but this is a good thing this is a good plus for the writers as well this is a way for you to basically listen we haven't explained everything they're explaining other books so it's, it's uh, short sweet and nice so it gives get you oh i want to know more so it gets you to to read their other books so that's going to be exciting to see how they fully develop the rest of the story yeah so that's a 3.5 from you and a 4 from me so on average that is a 3.75 from dnj now we look forward to reading the other books and i hope you'll read them with us let us know again what you thought about book one down below and join us again as we discuss books two or three and if there's a four or five and we can rant or gush together all right we can put in this part i actually selected this book yeah yes yeah, this is a book. james selection because this is fantasy and that's his specialty so wow you make me sound so dignified well i i'm the romance person so i'll i'll choose the romance he'll choose the fantasy and then we'll we'll just randomly choose all the other genres but yeah this is james's selection so kudos to him <gasps> thank you i you know i couldn't have done this without the lord and thank you to my mom and my dad and you know my beautiful wife <laughs> yeah thanks <laughs> all right guys so subscribe and continue listening to my wonderful voice <laughs> yeah like comment and subscribe and ding that bell so that you'll be the first persons to be notified when we upload thank you so much for tuning in to dnj's book chat and until next time <laughs> bye guys